So, since we cannot construct this list of Aadhaar cards and SIM cards, let us uh, look at this uh, efficiency in a running situation with respect to our GCT algorithms. So, this is our original GCT algorithm, okay, the one which computed the list of common factors and reported the last one and what we observed was that this takes time proportional to the minimum of the two numbers because this for loop runs for that long. Right? So, let us look at two uh, GCT of two large numbers. So, let me take smaller numbers. So, let me take two seven digit numbers. Right? So, let me so, this is now GCD of 5678123, which is a 7 digit number, and 8765423. So, let me first execute this so that this Python function is. So, now GCD has been defined. So, now if I run this GCD on this number, then it reports an answer reasonably fast as 1. So, it actually says that this is. Now, if I suppose I increase the number of digits by 1. So, supposing I make this two 8 digit numbers, right? If I make these two into 8 digit numbers, and then I run this GCD, then you can see that it is really taking a long time because now the minimum of the two numbers is now an 8 digit number. right? And if I take a yet another digit, so supposing I make them 9 digit numbers, right? then actually if I start running this, this will run for an enormous amount of time. I mean, so I can just keep talking and nothing is going to happen. Right? So, you can see that uh, having a kind of naive algorithm will seriously limit the efficacy of what you are doing. Right? So, now I just stopped that. So, now let me use instead this first recursive algorithm that we defined which uses this minus a minus b format. Right? So, let me use this a minus b format on this and now let me go and try to reevaluate this thing which was taking a long time. So, I take this 9 digit number and now if I do this a minus b format fairly fast it gives me a 1. Right? So, switching to this recursive algorithm gives me a 1, but we already saw that this a minus b format itself has problems because it will keep subtracting and coming down very slowly. So, supposing I take something like 2 and a large number of 9s, right? So, this will take a long time, but it will also expose some other thing about Python, which is that Python has something called a recursion limit. So, this is Every time you run a recursive function, it has to remember the previous thing. So, actually what this gives us is something more serious, it gives us a recursion error. Okay? Now, it is possible to fix this recursion limit and make it larger, but in this particular case, if I want to make it large enough to do this, it actually still does not work. So, but even if I take a smaller thing, I mean this recursion limit is going to be a problem. Okay? But now, let us look at Euclid's algorithm. So, Euclid's algorithm was the same recursive thing except I used the remainder operation, so subtracting. So, I take in the base case, I check whether b divides a. If b divides b, I return b. Otherwise, I compute the GCD of b and a remainder b. Okay? So, let us now use this as our operational definition. So, first of all, we can go back and try the first one that uh, our earlier thing failed to do and you can see that it does this very fast and I can probably add a lot more digits to it. Let me see. I hope it will work. So, you can see that our claim was that GCD, Euclid's GCD actually grows proportional to number of digits. So, if I add two more digits, it, it grows only as plus 2, not times 10. Okay? And in particular, if I do this one, which our earlier thing failed because of the limit, GCD, uh, the Euclid's GCD very quickly tells me that the, the GCD of 2 and a large odd number is 1. Okay? So, this is the real power of Euclid's algorithm. So, it actually gives you a very efficient way to calculate GCD. And hopefully, this gives you some feel for the dependencies on some things which are proportional to the number value as a magnitude and the number of digits in that value. Okay? So, the Euclid actually operates in the number of digits. So, if I give you a large number of this, it is basically operating on the length of this string. Okay? So, I can actually put much, so Python as you know can take very large numbers. So, I can take much larger numbers and hopefully run this and Euclid's algorithm works. Right? So, it can actually handle very large numbers because it is actually, it is like multiplying. I mean, multiplying two very large numbers, if I add few more digits, it just takes a little bit more time. Euclid's algorithm is like that. Right? So, I hope you get a feel for this from this uh, running example.